And we're quite comfortable heading out the door, but those winds are definitely a bit strong right now. McAllen 70 degrees, Harlingen 71, Brownsville at 73. We already seeing those sustained winds between a good 21, 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. And those winds are going to start picking up as we head into those afternoon hours. The National Weather Service issuing a wind advisory for Southern Hidalgo, Willacy and Cameron counties. That's going to be in effect from 11 o'clock this morning to 5 a.m. on Wednesday as we could see some wind gusts between 45 and 50 miles an hour. So definitely expecting a fairly breezy day as well as uh, increasing fire weather risk. This uh, fire weather warning will be in effect tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. because we are expecting some very dry air uh, coming into the valley as all thanks to a Pacific cold front. But looking for today in terms of those wind gusts, winds gusting up to 38 miles an hour by the 6 p.m. hour and then up to 41 miles an hour along our coastal areas. So secure those outdoor loose items while you can. Secure those trash cans because we're going to have a breezy day. Wouldn't be surprised if it could be uh, we see those wind gusts uh, similar to what we saw uh, last week with that strong wind event, but possibly just very breezy as we head into the next uh, few hours there. Dew points right now, we are definitely humid in the upper 60s, but that's all going to change as we head into Wednesday as a front is going to be bringing in some very dry air. Future dew points are going to be dropping into the teens. So once that happens with that front, it's going to be dangerously dry. And therefore, that in combination with breezy conditions is going to cause that fire weather concern to be uh, in, in effect for tomorrow there. So outdoor burning not recommended today as well as uh, we're seeing those increasing drought conditions. So our soil is becoming not as saturated as what we were seeing a few months ago. The big picture here is that we have a high pressure system situated over Florida. Usually when we have those highs to the east of us, we get those breezy conditions and those very uh, good, uh, very gusty winds. And then that in combination with an approaching weather system off of Southern California, that is going to cause some uh, bring in that dry air. That's going to bring some severe weather to other portions of the state in the terms of a cold front. But Pacific cold fronts really don't uh, provide much changes in terms of temperatures. It's just a severe weather maker around this time of year, bringing that severe weather to central and north Texas. But we're not going to see any of that rain. We're just going to be dealing with those dry conditions. And our concern is going to be that fire weather hazard as we head into the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. So it's going to remain dry uh, for us here as well as uh, increasing uh, those dry conditions for the rest of the week. The latest drought monitor showing abnormally dry conditions in place for Hidalgo, Cameron and Willacy counties, as well as moderate drought conditions in place for Star County there with eastern actually western star county dealing with severe drought conditions but as we look at the seven day forecast we are expecting those conditions to remain a bit warm that high pressure system moving on in as we're going to head into wednesday we're going to see a fire weather threat areas out to the west star county could actually make it to 100 degrees heading into wednesday but today fairly windy a bit on the humid side highs in the upper 70s upper 80s overnight lows in the 50s and 60s with partly cloudy skies for the rest of the week next weekend looking fantastic with highs in the 80s